up party people welcome back to my channel so today we are testing out some new drugstore makeup that is all under ten dollars and it's all from wet n wild a lot of it's from the marilyn monroe collection which is limited edition so yeah probably not gonna have a very long lifespan but i found all my products on amazon first things first let's talk eyeshadow this is the marilyn monroe five pen eyeshadow palette so it also comes with a brush and here i didn't use it it's just it's their little c shaped eyeshadow brush it's pretty basic overall i feel like the quality of the shadows is pretty good it can create a very nice simple everyday kind of look let's just kind of do a little run through of each shade and my thoughts okay the shimmery white right here is too icy in my opinion for the palette i mean it looks good when it's on it looks fine but it does stand out quite a bit like i feel like the tone of it doesn't really pair up with the tone of the rest of the palettes the shade right next to it is a matte tan base with a gold sequin shimmer throughout but i feel like the sequence in here doesn't really show up on the eyes so it really performs like a matte and next to it is a matte tan shade and i feel like these can be used interchangeably they don't really look different on the eyes so i feel like this shade is kind of useless honestly now the matte tan shade in the middle i do like this for the crease i think it's a really nice undertone it's, it's a nice neutral it's buildable it's not overly pigmented i feel like if you're a deeper skin tone you won't be able to build this up to where it actually shows up for me i do like this there's a matte dark brown in here and typically i would use a shade like this for shadow liner but in my opinion it just doesn't pack enough punch and pigmentation to be used as shadow liner however i will say in the b-roll for this video where i'm creating the look that i'm wearing or a modification of it it was pretty hard to work with it turned patchy and uneven very quickly and i just didn't like the way it looked in my eyes i feel like i had to go into the shimmer to recover the eye look because it was just looking very choppy i feel like the standout shade in this is the shimmer the shimmer is so shiny sheeny high quality like it looks like you've wet your eyeshadow when it's just dry and although it looks really basic there's just something about it that is gonna look good on every skin tone every eye color whenever i wear this i feel like my eyes really pop i'm someone that lately i've been kind of steering away from shimmers because i feel like they can kind of age my eyes but this is one of the only shimmers i've used in a very long time that i feel like when i wear it my eyes don't look older so yeah overall i don't love the entirety of the palette i feel like the bronze shimmer in here is definitely the standout dare i say it's worth it just for that shade but i also have a very hard time saying that because you're also if you're not going to use the other shades then it's kind of a waste i really do love this shade though it's so pretty i wish they just sold this individually for mascara this is not from the marilyn monroe collection but this is a new mascara from them this is called the so defined mascara so it says extra volume without the clumpiness this weightless 24 hour mascara delivers super defined volume length and lift that is easy to build and control smudge proof and flake proof the brush includes 348 durable bristles and a tapered tip that grips and loads every lash from root to tip it's infused with castor oil and vitamin e what is it nowadays i don't hate the effect of this mascara but i also don't love it i definitely don't love the application i feel like the wand it's pretty chunky it's doable i i could definitely deal with it but my biggest qualm with it is that the bristles are kind of pokey it kind of hurts when you're pushing it into your lashes and you hit your upper waterline it's a little like oh Ooh. however i will say it's very long wearing i don't get smudging transfer flakes nothing like that like this is one that i can trust to wear all day long the effect is fine when it's all said and done like this isn't bad but i've got other mascaras in my collection like other favorites that give me a better effect and don't hurt my eyes when i apply them you know so yeah for me this is a pass i've got a couple different blush options i've got a liquid blush and then also a powder blush from the marilyn monroe collection so let's start with the liquid blush first so these are the mega glow lip and cheek color so i got two shades the light pink one is called rosy romance and the coral one is called coral dream first off these come in a pretty hefty little package this is a lot of product in here so rosy romance is the one that i'm applying in the b-roll and this is probably my favorite one this is just a really pretty new neutral rosy pink it's one of those shades i feel like it's gonna go well with pretty much every eye look and every color story that you're gonna wear it's very universal now the level of pigmentation is not quite as much as say the elf liquid blushes or the juvia's place ones starting out it's definitely more on the sheer side but you can build it up a little bit but i don't know if this shade is gonna be one that shows up on a deeper skin tone very well but it's got this really nice kind of light glowy satiny kind of finish it's not a super oily dewy kind of look so if you have really oily skin i don't think it's gonna be problematic but it just gives you a really pretty sheen coral dream is a little too dark for my skin tone i think this would be really pretty on a really tan skin tone and up like if you're tan to deep yeah for my skin tone i can get it to work it just 
I gotta, I gotta work with it quite a bit. Here's what it looks like. I've had this on for, I don't know, probably about five or six hours. So I do have some fading and I have been laying my head against stuff throughout the day. So it's, it's definitely rubbed off a little bit. I typically prefer products that last upwards of eight or nine hours. So this is, I mean, it's still going fairly strong, but I've seen better. So yeah, I do like these. Still want to try them for my lips. For blush, they're good. Are they my favorite right now? No. Actually, you know what? Let's see how this does go on as a lip gloss. Okay, I don't love it, but I can see it. Moving on to the powder blush now, the one from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is the only shade they have, it's called Rose. What's really funny about all the Marilyn Monroe products is that they all come with this giant powder puff. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's a blush, a highlight, a, a loose powder, they all come with the same powder puff. I don't really know many people that are applying their blush with a powder puff, so kind of a waste in my opinion, kind of goofy. So yeah, here's what this shade looks like. And honestly, I don't really go for this kind of shade a whole lot. It's kind of like a deep mauve rose. I'm wearing it on this side of my face right now and I do apply it in the B-roll. I apply the Rosy Romance shade and the liquid blush on one side and then this one on the other side. But there's something about this color. Like it looks so boring to me and basic in the pan. I really didn't think I was gonna like this. Have you seen people talk about those blushes that they give you some color, not a whole lot. They just look bronzy and tan, kind of sun kissed. Like it looks like you've got a little bit of a, a flush to your skin versus a big vibrant blush on your cheeks. This kind of pulls bronzy on my skin. Now I will say, I think that this kind of shade would be prettier with a gold sparkle versus silver. I feel like the silver is pretty prominent. I mean, you can't really see major flecks on the skin. You can see some. I definitely think that it would have been more flattering had they used a gold sparkle. But before highlighter, it is still so glowy. And the, the sparkle in here just really adds a beautiful creamy dewiness to the skin. It's very odd considering it's a powder blush. I think they need to make this permanent, come out with more shades. Definitely something worth checking out. For highlighter, once again, we're tapping into the powder and liquid territory. So we got a couple different options. So let's start with the liquid highlighter first. It is part of the permanent collection. This is the Mega Glow Glow and Love Radiance Liquid. It has 4% niacinamide and 8% glycerin. It can be used alone or as primer. I've only ever used it as liquid highlighter and that's how I show it in today's video. And that's how I'm wearing it on Wait a minute, which side is it on? It's on this side. I put it on top of the powder highlighter on this side. I truly didn't expect to like this at all because whenever you swatch it, it looks pretty boring. It looks pretty basic. There's a translucency to it to where I definitely could see it being used as a primer underneath foundation. The translucency to it, I feel like is what makes it so universal because it's like a translucent base, which means it's gonna be able to look good and be worn on any skin tone. But the glow that this gives, it gives a beautiful glass skin dewiness. It doesn't break down on me. It holds up very well throughout the day and maintains that really pretty luminous glow. And it also, goes on top of pretty much everything without problems. It can go on top of a powder, it can go on top of a cream, a liquid, whatever. So yeah, whenever I saw there was only one shade, I thought, uh, that's kind of sucky, but then you use it and it makes sense. Now the Marilyn Monroe highlighter, this is the shade Peachy Pink. This kind of puts me in mind of their other Mega Glow highlighters, which is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters of all time. I don't know if it's the same formula, just a different shade, but it performs very similar to that in my opinion. But this is very intense. This is not for the faint of heart. Like if you're someone that wants a very natural highlight, this is not it. Look at this, it is just, I will say there have been times when I've gone ham and applied too much and it does look very stripy on the skin. Like I have to be very careful with this one. It looks a lot better when I do my little under eye setting spray hack and kind of melt it into my skin better. But initially it does look very beamy, a little shimmery on the skin. Definitely has potential to emphasize fine lines, texture, peach fuzz, stuff like that. Overall, if you're willing to finesse with it, it can be very beautiful. Yeah, I would say if you like the original Wet n Wild Mega Glow Powder Highlighters, then you'll probably love this one. So for face powder, this is part of the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is called the Luminous Setting Powder and they say that it's translucent. In my opinion, this is a banana powder, a lot banana powder and it does have a good amount of shimmer in here. I've tried this a couple different ways. So obviously I tried it by itself and then today I applied it differently. So by itself, it is not okay. It is very shimmery. It is emphasizing a pores. The shimmer shows up on my skin. Just not very flattering. At first it feels very thin, very finely milled. And then you put it on 
and it has a dryness to it. Whenever I've used this by itself, it does make my skin look dry in the areas that I'm applying it. So I look dry, but also shimmery, which is a very bad combination. So I thought, okay, maybe let's try it as a finishing powder. Let's try using a different actual translucent setting powder underneath. Yeah, today I tried it on top of a translucent setting powder. I just kind of dusted it on top with a loosely packed face brush and it still has a dryness to it. It doesn't look as yellow and as shimmery, but it definitely, it definitely does look shimmery. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who this is gonna be good for. In my opinion, this is gonna be good for nobody. I mean, maybe if you wanna use it for under the eyes and that's it, but again, it's got a dryness. So I don't know what is, what, what is its purpose? Honestly, no, just, just no. And then I have some lip glosses. So these are the Color Icon lip glosses. I actually got these at Walmart for $4. I got the shades Aquarius and Capricorn. So Capricorn is this really unique plummy shade with a lot of different tones of sparkle and glitter in there. It almost looks kind of holographic. It's very pigmented. You can definitely wear this by itself and it's gonna pack a punch. Not very wearable in my opinion, unless you like a plum lip gloss on the regular. I don't think this is gonna be something that's gonna be for everyone, especially because it does look kind of holographic and kind of duochrome. Now Aquarius is a very, very pretty peach shade. This one has a gold shimmer and it's definitely more on the sheer buildable side compared to Capricorn. So the wear of these, it's kind of weird. It kind of goes in stages. First stage, when you first apply it, it feels kind of heavy, kind of goopy, you know, kind of like kids makeup in a way. And then the longer you wear it, it starts feeling more comfortable, more moisturizing, not as thick and goopy and sticky as when you first applied it. And then the third stage, it kind of goes back to feeling sticky and thick. It feels it just, it feels kind of gross to me. So yeah, for me, these are a no. Yeah, I would say the standouts are definitely the powder blush from the Marilyn Collection and then the Mega Glow Liquid Highlighter. And then the powder highlighter is really good if you like a really intense highlight and if you're willing to not go too ham with it. Give the video a big old thumbs up if you enjoy drugstore mega videos like this and if you want to see more like it. Subscribe if you're not already and turn the notification bell on to always see my stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.